Good morning, boys and girls. And welcome to another adventure with Jim and Karen. Where are we at today? We are in Utah, and we are doing Fantasy Canyon. I don't know where it's at. Just a little south of Vernal. Here we go. Uh, it is, I'm gonna take a look around first. So I don't know if you can see the color on those mountains over there. If you've ever been to Painted Hills. In Oregon. In Oregon. It's where over the thousands of years, this is all in the water and it's, you got reds, green, oranges, purples. Well, these are the same things. It's hard to see because of the way we're at the sun. And basically, over time, this is all washed out. And down to this stuff. It looks like clay. Sandstone, though. Yeah. So it's like, like a mud. But we're gonna come up and show you some of it. You ready to go? I'm excited, Oops. let's do it. All right. So this is only a half mile pass. I think it's at elevation 56 feet. But it is lined with rocks. But right off the get go, we're gonna show you what we're looking at. Let's go up to this one real fast. Isn't that amazing? It's like sandstone, this is your mud. That's, you can hear it. It's hollow. That's rock. That's hollow. Eventually that's gonna fall out too. You can have some more of them designs down there. Look, through the hole. Okay. It's gonna be a while in here. Let's go have some fun. All right guys, so as soon as you crest the top of the hill here, this is what you're walking into. A little bird up there singing to us. This is amazing. Guess we have to watch out for snakes because in the bathroom, the outhouse, right on the door, it says warning or beware of pygmy rattlesnakes on the outhouse door. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, the drone's definitely taking a flight through here. If I don't crash it. Wow. All right, I gotta take some pics. All right, so we just saw the front side of that when we first walked in. Check out the back side. I think he's coming down and just hanging there. Look at that. It kind of reminded me when I first got here of Cathedral Gorge. In Nevada, but this place is much, much better. Never thought I'd say it, but I thought Little Finland was awesome. Also in Nevada, but this place is amazing. Some of it's fallen off, as you can see. All right, a couple of years, this is all, 100 years probably, this is all gonna form too. You can see some out there, it's starting to break apart. All right, let's follow the trail. Sorry about the sunlight, that time of day. So as you can see, we just walked in. That's the first cluster. Here's another cluster. I just told Boo Boo, you can take a, literally take thousands of pictures out here. Look at that. You just have to watch out for snakes down there. Just don't stick your hand in any holes you're not supposed to. You gotta be safe. Look at that. Still hear that bird. I'll show you this rock right here. It is like, it's sandstone. Hear it? Sounds hollow. All right, we got a lot more to see. All right, once again, sorry about the uh, sun. You can see this one, it's just now starting to form or form more from where the water runs down and into the ditch. That one right there, if I can block the sun a little bit, the top of it's not forming, the bottom of it, it just looks like a castle. We'll be up here in the shade. There we go. 
at those formations. Like hanging out on the end there. That's neat. I saw a gargoyle or dragon or something over here. I'm gonna give a picture, show you a picture of a minute. I'm gonna try to block the sun a little bit. See right there? That's some kind of a dragon or a gargoyle. It doesn't look nice. Kind of a lion's head over there or something. Lion cub. Just use your imagination. You can go wild in this place. Okay. There's a castle. That's what I'm going to call it. That one fell off. Come up there somewhere. Path goes right on up. See the rocks up there first. And you can see them just starting to form over there. All right, we'll come back in another thousand years and show you. <laughs> Not. <laughs> all right, guys, so after you pass the castle and you visit all in there and make up your own critters, come back here. And the trail goes up and over. Wow, you can see where all these fell off. They have a little bit of that. Then we'll go down there and get a better picture for you guys. Back side of the castle. Wow. All right, folks, so we just cut down through there. That's the back side of the castle. Cut back through and cut through there. We're going to go over the top to the other canyon or the other big thing here. Whoa. It's really, really loose, though. There's another one right over there. We're going to go check that out. You get down here first. Oh, it looks like it had a collapse. A lot of pieces fell down. It shows you just how brittle they are. Looks like we can make our way through there. All right. All right, folks, we're gonna make our way through here. Keep in mind for steak, snakes. There's a picnic table. Sorry about that, Boober told me to stop for a minute. Check that out. This stuff is so Delicate, as you can see. Gonna make our way through here. Look at that. That'd be the other side of the castle. See how these things are buried? That one's cracked. There's a little crack there. And you can see the mud. Little area back in here. Now this could be like a waterfall here. You just dribble down. You can see actually there's more sand right there. So it's probably when water hits it, it comes right on down there. There's a pillar. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want the sun to get too too much in here. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, the drone's definitely coming through here. Look how thin this shear is. It's buried in my finger. It's very, very thin. Looking back. You can always see a different shapes. So make sure you look everywhere. Look at that. This is amazing. It's amazing. Huh? It's very amazing. That one is 
I would say growing out of the rock, but it's really not growing. It looks like it's growing out of the rock. All the animal faces and things you can see. Here's a big pillar right here with holes in it. All right, let's, oh, here's another one. Check it out. This must be the pillar area. Look at that. There's more of them over there. Wow. Okay, boys and girls, we're looking back. We're getting ready to climb over this hill, but I notice down here, these black crystals. And you can see them down here. They're hard. They're all along this rock. Oh. Whoa. Watch your balance. Runs right along there. When you get up here, you can see the red. Just like in the Painted Hills. You're almost at the top. So all this basically washed out over the hundreds of years. That's going to happen too eventually. There's some green up there. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so here's the view from the top looking down. But you can see the different colorations where eventually all that is going to turn into that. Turning the other way, you can see it. Different colors. A little bit of green in there. So apparently, all trail says you could have went up that way and back around. So we're going to go this way. Looks like there might be another canyon back in here. Loose rocks. Watch where you, watch where you walk. No, there's not a canyon there. Let's go step up top here and see what's up here. Turn this off. Okay, nothing up top. You can't see where the holes are starting to form. That's a couple deep holes there. You can see how it dried up. Looks like dried up mud. Next time it rains, that's going to fall off and keep doing that for umpteen million years and hundreds of years, and it's going to be extended. Look at that view out there in the desert. We are out in the middle of <laughs> nowhere. Those are all oil fields out there. Loving it. Loving it, huh? Yep, I'm loving it. I think this one beats, uh, what do you call it? Cathedral Gorge and uh, the other one we went to. Finland? Little Finland. Mm. It's pretty close, huh? Pretty close. Okay, let's make our way over that way. All right, all right folks, it's getting warm real fast. There is a little bush growing right there. This is what the other side looks like. You see the trail kept, somebody made a trail up there, but I really don't want to walk on that stuff because it is fragile as it is and I don't want to be the one that destroys it. Right. That one looks like one of those dinosaur heads. There's an ear and a nostril like a rhino, an eye and a mouth. That's why they call this Fantasy Canyon. Yep. To see what you want to see. It's absolutely correct. All right, we're going to head back down and make a left and see where that other part goes. Yeah. See you back down there. All right, folks, this is a good example of what I'm talking about. I don't want to step in there and part of a snake. You see how those are rounded up, those flat ledges? And above that is all that mucky mud. Down here is a cone that goes up and touches that one. There's another one that comes down at this angle. All that mud's going to fall away eventually. That's going to look really pretty. Well, I guess the reason they call this Fantasy Canyon is because you just use your mind. The things you see out here. Wow. All right, folks, so we made it past the fall down again. You see this trail, it goes up and climbs up, and I think that's what crosses those other ones. The other trail, we came down here, so we're going to follow the wash through here, which they say is a trail. I think we're going to be on the back side of it. You see how the water just flows through here. It's pretty out here. Yeah, basically we're on the back side. This side hasn't really formed much yet. Nope. 
All right. <clears throat> we're gonna head back towards Fiona. There's some other spots out there we might take a look at. See you in a few. All right, so before we get back around the parking lot, if you look to your right, it's a big cave back here. Hopefully there aren't any rattlesnakes in it, but it's a big cave. Well, not really big, it's, it's small. It looks big from back there. You can see where that's all falling out. Eventually, that's all gonna come out. But it gives you a close up of the rocks, the mud in between them, especially in here. All right. You know about this area right here. Boo Boo brought up a good point. You have one color, then you have the red rock. You have some right in that area too. And it's back to white, but you can see a little bit of red there. It's the same stuff we have there in the mountains that change the colors. The different sediments, that's a different centuries. So you can see, that was different centuries. Okay, let's make it back. All right guys, so if you follow the, whatever water comes rushing through here, parking lot's back over there. I was telling Boo Boo over there, there's a formation and it doesn't look like the same kind of rocks. So we're gonna venture over there and see what it looks like. We have a lot of plant grows here. Look how this one. Looks like a like a chanterelle mushroom. Just growing up there. It don't look like it from here. Actually from here it looks like a, a dragon's neck and his two ears. Never mind. That's why they call this Fantasy Canyon. Okay, I'm gonna make our way over there. All right, so we're out here in the wash where everything's completely washed out, you can see that. I think what those rocks are, which we're gonna go look at in a minute, is like this. All of the mud has completely washed away. And it shows you how those rocks balance on each other. And I think that's what those are, so let's go take a look. Yes, sir. So this is basically the same sandstone. It's got holes in it. It's definitely sandstone. And uh, it looks like, <coughs> excuse me, all the stuff washed away from it. Still a little bit holding it. The odd shapes. It looks like it's stacked up there. And this one too. That one might have been built. But the way it just forms, it just balances up there. There's like a balanced rock over there. I'll take a look at that before we head back. This one looks more like a wall. You can see where it's all coming out over time. This is all washed out, it's the lower wash. Just the geological shapes of these things are amazing. You got holes in them. And this is definitely a balanced rock. When all that stuff disappears, that mud, you got a bunch of little rocks right here. that are gonna be holding that thing up. As long as some knucklehead doesn't put a rock up here like that. There's another one up there. Okay, so there's another one up there. Wow. Let's take a look at the other side. This place, you have to look at both sides of everything. That one actually looks like it's leaning out. So is that one leaning. A piece of wood trapped in there. Somebody had a fire pit out here, obviously. All right. We're going to head back to Fiona and take five and pick up the drone. Oh, look. That's a dog. See the dog's head up there? This is Fantasy Canyon, buddy. <laughs> All right, see you back, Fiona. All right, boys and girls. That concludes another adventure with Jim and Karen. What so, an adventure it was. It was. Fantasy Canyon, it's what it says. You're making up your own shapes of this stuff. It was amazing. Some of them pretty funny. Yeah. Some we of can't them. say it on YouTube. Right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was a, you probably spent hours and hours and hours and hours out here. We're all alone. There's been nobody since we got here. Nope. And it's they do have a restroom here, so that's a good thing. It's very clean, too. Yes. And it even says, watch out for rattlesnakes. 
So I kind of just went potty myself. Pygmy snake. Pygmy rouse snakes. Let me just explain this. So do they come up through the toilet? No, they come into the crack in the door. Oh, well, I was worried about it coming up through the toilet. <laughs> okay. All right, back to the video. Right. Anyway, so it's really beautiful out here, guys. Um, like I said, you can spend hours out here. Come out here. It's easy. I think we did less than a mile Yeah. for all the exploring we did. Come out here and enjoy yourself. We didn't show you everything. We didn't show you that area over there and the back side of that. We went up there. But the reason we did that is because if we showed you everything, you wouldn't have any need to come out here now, would you? Right? And it's really worth it, guys. It really is. Just stay on the paths, basically. Don't get off and do things that you're not supposed to do. Be careful with the stuff. Speaking of that, you see that right there? That's some knucklehead through down there. Oranges and stuff do not decompose in the desert. Right? We're not in... Leave no trace. Olympic National Park. Leave no trace, no matter where you are. Right? Okay, so we're going to head to Price tomorrow. We're going to do the Little Grand Canyon. Let's we'll see so if we excited. can't see some uh, critters. We saw some pronghorn sheep on the way here. And we stopped to take a picture of them, and they started walking right towards us. But I had to use the bathroom, so we left. Right. All right. Until cool. next time. Oh, yeah, by the way, you might get some drone footage. We'll see. Until next time. Be safe. God bless. And go take a hike.